Hey everyone, this is John from EastCoastArmory.com and I'm here today with a model showcase video for a 1-6 scale commission build M40A1 recoilless rifle. Now many of my viewers out there are probably watching this and probably scratching their heads wondering, but John, you've done several videos on this subject matter. Well, the answer is you would first be absolutely correct, and by the way, thank you for <laughs> watching the channel. Uh, the second thing is that, like I said before in the opening monologue, the model that we have here is actually built for commission and belongs to a private collector. The other variant, which is actually the one I have in the background, is the one that was built from my own personal collection and was not for sale and or purchase. Now, unlike many of the other type of commission builds that I generally offer build services for, where it's done on a one-to-one -one basis and prices can fluctuate between the builds. The M40s that we have here are actually a catalog item and you can purchase it in its pre-built condition. There are a few options available from weathered to unweathered to standard black or like this configuration here which is the silverback. Now all of these options for both the pre-built version like I have here as well as the standard unassembled kit version are found on the same catalog page which can be found on the link listed below. Before we go any further with the video, let's go ahead and take a quick walk around the model. And this model here is the 106mm M40A1 recoilless rifle. Now this video is going to be a bit on the shorter end because I'm not going to go off into too much detail about the, the weapon system, its history, and all that other stuff, since I've already went through all of that in great detail in the other model showcase videos of this unit here. All of the videos for the other iterations of the M40 that I've made in the past are found in the video description listed below. I strongly recommend checking those videos out in order to not only get a good idea on the history of this weapon system, but also to see the other variations that have been released by ECA within the past year. The M40 weapon system was a infantry level heavy weapon that was utilized for support roles, either knocking out heavy fortified bunkers and fortifications to knocking out armored vehicles. The weapon system was developed by the US military in the late 50s and early 1960s and was in service all the way from that period up until today in some areas of the world. Now, like I stated before, the model is built with the EastCoastArmory.com 1-6 scale 3D printed kit. The model is built 100% out of the box, and what you see here is what the kit builds into. Some of the features that these kits have are first the adjustable tripod. You have the front wheel which can roll. You notice that the model itself can transverse. There is some slight elevation, however, it's basically set in place. However, the bond can easily be broken in case the, the owner wants to adjust it for his application. On the back here, you notice the breech mechanism is fully functional in that it can open and close. However, when it comes to opening and closing it, it is a little bit on the fragile side, so some care needs to be exhibited by the operator or owner of these pieces but they just go directly into place. For both the closed, a locked breech like we have here, which would be for firing mode, and then for the opening detail, you just grab the bar, and with a little wiggle, you can cam it open. Now, in case you don't want to put any stress on the component, you can actually pull out the lever and then the whole breech mechanism slides out and you can manu manually then just line it up back into place. Drop the lever back in, make sure it's in the correct orientation and you're all set. Now, like I said before, what I meant by orientation is that when the breech is in the locked state, the lever should be pointing forward of the, of the gun 
like the way we see it here. And for the open state, it would be a 180 degree throw, like that. Back on the tripod, we have here the two little locking levers. These are again fully functional and would be used in case mounting this system to an M151 MUT or an M38A1 Jeep. Moving our way back up takes us to the main optic. This is the same HD printings that are used on the other sets that I've mentioned in the past. Notice that the because they're HD material, they are translucent, which gives for a nice realistic lens detailing. And of course, the eye cup is molded and casted in a flexible rubber material for, again, fantastic accuracy as well as a little bit of functionality too. Takes us to the crank handles. Note the red painted on the firing knob. While in this location here, this of course now brings us to the data plate with all of its manufacturing information present and it's legible. From here now brings us to the firing cables and the selector knob. This would alternate between the firing of the main 105 millimeter gun or the 50 caliber spotting rifle by a simple twist of this lever. Now of course the lever is non-functional on this piece, it's there just for detail. And from there now brings us to the 50 caliber spotting rifle. Again, this is the exact same prints that are used on the ones showcased in the past. The unit is fully painted and because the builder wanted his weapon to be fully weathered, this unit has its wear weathering added as well. Along with the other weathering added to the remainder of the M40's components. Also notice this is the silver back version with the inner baffle plug ring as well as the breech lock mechanism represented in its in the white material. Again, there are two versions of this gun offered on the ECA catalog. This is of course being the silver back and then there's just the all black variant. It's been a while since I've worked on one of these 1/6 scale M40 kits and I'm really happy on how this one turned out. These kits build up pretty well and basically pretty effortlessly. All in all, it was a nice smooth build and was a real pleasure to work on. Now that the filming is out of the way, this guy here is going to go ahead and get packaged up and sent to the customer. Or wait, was it this one? Or that? Oh boy. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the ECA channel. There you're kept in the loop of new posted content, whether it being model showcase videos like this one here, or project update videos from some of the ongoing build projects that are going on right now. Another way to keep into the loop of posted content is by liking us on Facebook. There, you'll see more photographs of these two particular units that have been posted, as well as the other smaller and larger scale builds that are showcased on the ECA channel in the past. Furthermore, don't forget to swing by eastcoastarmory.com where these Units are actually offered for sale in both kit and pre-built form, like this one here. Not to mention the other 1.6 and 1.16 scale builds and detail components that are mentioned in many of these videos in the past. Anyway, thanks for watching.